a research update on depression, tinnitus, and hyperacusis. We have developed a mathematical model with the use of clinical data for over 600 patients with tinnitus and hyperacusis, and the model describes how tinnitus loudness can lead to depression. There are two aspects to this. One is, is whether tinnitus leads to a greater incidence of depression, uh, but also whether depression itself m makes people more affected by the tinnitus that they have. Um, and, and we've been studying this, this issue in, in great detail. Hashir fortunately has records of very large numbers of patients who've filled in questionnaires of various kinds so that we can use uh, the results to relate the, the tinnitus uh, to uh, factors like, like depression uh, and insomnia and so on so that, so that we can try and get some idea of what is, is causing what. The interesting point is that the actual loudness of the tinnitus does not directly link with severity of depression. Although there is a significant relationship between tinnitus loudness and depression, but this relationship is fully mediated via the effect of tinnitus on the person's life, via the, the way that tinnitus interrupts their sleep, as well as the anxiety that it produces, as well as hyperacusis symptoms. One important aspect of the results is to uh, decide when a patient should be referred for further psychological treatment because it, it could well be that in some cases treating a, a person for depression can have a side effect of making them less distressed by their tinnitus. Depression is the most significant impact of tinnitus on the individual. Hashir O'Brien's research, published in the Journal of the American Academy of Audiology 2018, shows that in patients with tinnitus and hyperacusis, the risk of suicidal or self-harm ideations is six times more if they also have depression. The clinical implication for audiologists, as well as mental health professionals, is that in patients who experience tinnitus, depressive symptoms can be alleviated if tinnitus-related distress and the impact that tinnitus has on the life of the patients, the, the sleep disturbances that it caused are minimized, even if the tinnitus loudness remains unchanged. For more information on the relationship between tinnitus and depression, see Hasher and Brian's paper published in the American Journal of Audiology. To learn more, follow Dr. Hashir Arsh on Twitter, LinkedIn, and his clinic website.